guys, the market is down about 1% today, and that shouldn't come as too much of a surprise if you watched yesterday's video where I talked about my thoughts on Bitcoin and the market as a whole. I said I think Bitcoin is looking at a potential retracement back down quite a bit. Not crazy amounts, but down a little bit based on the analysis, and it looks like we've come to that today. I mean, we still, I think, have a bit further to go down, but I'll be explaining a bit more of that today, as well as three old coins at the end that I think are worth a look. So make sure you stick around for all of that. And if you enjoy the video, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and let's get straight into it. Something I find very interesting right now to look at as well, and again, this might uh, be wrong, I'm not sure, but it says on CoinMarketCap at least that the 24-hour volume is up almost 50%, which is pretty crazy to think. I mean, obviously volume is up and down, and from only a minus 0.9% loss, 48% increase in volume is pretty crazy. So that shows there's obviously a lot of trading bit kind of going on, happening, a lot of investing. So that could also be seen as kind of a good thing and also a way to show, well, hang on, if there's a lot of volume here and we're going down, well, that could be some kind of institutional level stuff showing us where the market wants to go. So you can see here, the next kind of major level is around the 28K level. So I do think we're probably gonna come down a little bit uh, lower here and retest this trend line. Uh, this is the daily chart. It's a you know multi-month trend line here. So I do think that's more likely than just carrying it up. However, if we do break up, if we break at least 30K, I could then see us going quite nicely up towards 32. And 32K, in my opinion, is gonna be the key level to break. Now, contrary to what we just saw on CoinMarketCap, which is again, why I'm not too sure how accurate it is, it says Bitcoin volume hits lowest since early 2021 amid fear 25K may return. So this is also very interesting to notice that apparently the volume was actually very low for Bitcoin itself. So maybe that is, you know, before the influx of downward momentum came in. However, things could get a little bit spicy, a little bit uh, dangerous if we keep seeing this uh, huge volume and lower prices continue. But that being said, I still think we have a chance of kind of bouncing really nicely at around 28K. So I don't know if 25K will return very soon, if at all. If it does, however, I think that will just be a quick kind of like breakdown and then a wick up back into the 28K range. Now, I just wanna talk about a few different uh, trading ideas. So the first one is is on the altcoin IMX. So as you can see here, we have a potential head and shoulders pattern happening here, very key level. And if you guys don't know about the head and shoulders pattern, it's one of those patterns that happens where you essentially have the left shoulder, the right shoulder, the head in the middle, and that usually leads to a push up. You also have the inverse head and shoulders, which is the opposite of that leading to price going down. And usually when you break the neckline, that is when you see somewhat of a nice push up. And uh, we have kind of where well, we've wicked above the neckline, we haven't closed above the neckline, but if we do, you know, around that 80 cent mark, then we could see a really nice move upwards. And these patterns, they don't tend to play out all the time, especially on lower time frames. But when you see one on the daily time frame like this, there's a lot better of a chance of it playing out and being quite a nice move. In terms of a target, I'd look to at least a dollar here. Up next, we have uh, Maker. As you guys know, Maker had a pretty decent run up the other day. And we can see here it's traveling in this wedge. Now it looks like we could potentially see a bit of a retracement and a potential breakdown of this trend line or wedge pattern. This is obviously a bearish pattern. So if we do see this, then we could see ourselves coming back down to around $1,160. And then maybe we could see a push up higher as the uptrend is still valid then. However, if we do break down below kind of $1,000, that's where things get a little bit tricky, a little bit uh, dangerous. However, that being said, it doesn't look like that is gonna be happening anytime soon, but just take into account, especially if Bitcoin's gonna be breaking structure soon as well. And last but not least, we have Filecoin. So this is a multi-year resistance on Filecoin. You can see this trend line, this major trend line here. And if we break that, the upside, we could see an insane gain for Filecoin and we could see us maybe, who knows, reignite this kind of bull run of this coin. Filecoin is actually very interesting to me because it's one of those coins that's in that top 100 that hasn't seen too much action. It's been hovering around the $5 mark for a while now. However, it's been very, very high. As you can see, it's been a $200 coin before. So, you know, there's a big, big potential chance this coin could do a 20, 40x to get back to where it was. And I think, you know, it definitely could do that. It's a working product as far as I know. It's got good team behind it and you know Filecoin might be one to take a look at but please remember as always with these things this is not financial advice we are not sponsored by any of these coins and that is just my personal opinion anyway guys I hope you enjoyed the video if you did please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more as well take a look at all the links in the description follow us on twitter at crypto busy and I'll catch you guys in the next one bye mm -hmm.